I'll be your boy. I'll be your boy. Wow. Oh. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. At last, I will work. What to do? What to do? Four hours of propulsion just flew out of those trudes. Can't I stop and rest? Not when I'm paying you 30 cents an hour, you won't. But my feet hurt. Sure they do. That's why I hired you to do my worrying for me. Now get back to work. Oh. <laughs> at least, at least. <laughs> Put more vom in those groans. When I pay a man big money to worry for me, I expect him to scream and howl and tear his hair. <coughs> That's better. I pay ten cents an hour to sit down worriers, twenty cents to nail biting worriers, but for thirty cents, I demand the works. <coughs> What's that? You haven't told me what I'm to worry about. Oh, so I didn't. Great gush and gold mines, what was it? I've got a memorandum of it here someplace. Where is it? Where is it? Four hours of top wages wasted, just wasted. Ah, oh, curses. Some pest would come here when I'm busy. Come in! Messenger boy! That all? <sighs> Almost wasted a shot. What's the message, Sonny? Something important? It's from the chief of police. Yiminy Christmas heavens to Betsy! The Beagle Boys have eluded the police! Be on guard! <laughs> That's what I wanted you to worry about, Donald. The terrible Beagle Boys. Their whole gang's in town, and they've threatened to crack my safe. Start <coughs> worrying, <coughs> confound it! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Walrus, yes! The Beagle Boys! The terrible Beagle Boys! <coughs> You keep that up while I think of a way to stop those robbers. Yes, I guess, George. I was wondering you got him yourself, I guess, George. How should I know? It'd take 13 years to count it. Worry about those robbers, confound it. I'm not paying you 30 cents to ask questions. Cannon? Oh, why sure. <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Come on, Beagle Boys. Just try to get to my safe. <laughs> Here's the powder. Fresh? I suppose so. I bought this cannon loaded right after the war. What's more? The Boer War. Don't be so doggone dumb. Okay, okay. You can take it from here. I'm going home and get some rest. Boy, I swear I got dollar and twenty-two cents for four hours and ten minutes work. Ah, oh, worry, worry. Maybe that powder is a little old. I better reload the cannon with a fresh keg. I wonder how much it takes. Well, I'll put in plenty. Come on, Beagle Boys, come on! I've been ready for you for hours! Oh, it's long past bedtime. Those lazy robbers haven't showed up yet. Ah. 
I can't hold my eyes open much longer. I've got to have help. You'll have to man the cannon while I take a nap. What cannon? Oh, that one. <sighs> You're going to be a lot of help. Get up. Wake up! <coughs> the Beagle Boys may be here any minute. Start worrying. Think of some way to keep one of us awake. Well said, Todd. Oh, buddy. No, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, yes. Mm. What? Wake up. Wake up. What was that idea? A spring gun. You read the timing of that a spring gun. One of them probably go up to a fuse yet to catch well on the timing. And it probably opens the door to catch off the powder. Donald, you're a genius! With this burglar stopper in action, I can go home and get a good night's sleep. You and me both. When the door is open this far, the rope tight takes him, pulls the arm up, strikes in the match, and... The match lights the fuse, the cannon shoots, and bluey goes the Beagle Boys. Now remember about this door. Don't open it too wide. I'll see you tomorrow, Donald. Good night. That's so fast. You haven't paid me for my 25 cents for this half hour's work. Oh, so I haven't. 25 cents? I don't carry that much money on me. Wait here while I get it out of the safe. Doggone it. Why couldn't he have waited until tomorrow? Uh-oh! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Heavens to Betsy! My lands to Goshen! Busted like a paper bag! You and your bright ideas! <laughs> Never mind the sarcasm! You still don't make 25 cents! <laughs> <laughs>